Greetings, folks. I'm now driving through southern York County, Pennsylvania, through some beautiful rolling hills and rural areas, and I'm on my way to a very unique and historic little town called Glenrock, Pennsylvania. A town that you may have never heard of. It has a lot of history and we're going to go explore a few unique aspects of this cute little town. So thanks a lot for watching. Creek, which runs right through the town of Glen Rock. Glen Rock is really an old railroad town, old railroad stop for the PRR, Pennsylvania Railroad. And the town was pretty much established in the 1830s. And now we are coming into the town. It's your typical quaint little Pennsylvania historic town. But it's very unique because the creek runs right through town. And the rail trail, bike trail, runs right in through town also. And here we are, right at Main Street. Glen Rock is a unique little town. And everything is sort of centered around the Glen Rock Mill Inn, which was built back in the early 1800s, around 1830s. It's also a train town and a biking destination. Here is a nice town mural. Here is the town mural right along PRR, Pennsylvania Railroad. Many of the little towns of southern York County are connected by the railroad in the 1800s. But the one unique, very unique aspect of the town is the Glen Rock Carolers. Yes, the Glen Rock Carolers who came to this town, who came to this town in the 1800s and formed, they came from England and they wanted to keep up the tradition of caroling through the streets. So, and that has been going on here since every Christmas Eve, the Glen Rock Carolers, Glen Rock Carolers, dressed in their top hats and their coats, come out and walk across the whole 
town caroling like the old English tradition that they once knew of. A man by the name of Charles Heathcote from England, who was name is well known around this area of Southern York County. They're very much of a joy to watch them sing Christmas carols and usually the whole town, bunch of people gets together and follows them all around on Christmas Eve. It's a fine tradition. There's some very unique old world architecture in this very old town established in the 1830s. That was quite a long time ago. And here is the Glenrock Mill Inn, which used to be the old mill in the area way back then. Now it is fine dining, bed and breakfast, and a really interesting historic place. Here is some local merchandise. They're really gonna done a good job fixing this town up. And here's the rail trail. Now these railroad tracks along the rail trail continue on up to York, Pennsylvania, eventually to York, Pennsylvania through the beautiful rolling hills of Southern York County. Here we have another shot of the sign that says 1837. And the other entrance is this beautiful old brick structure, historic. And it's very neat inside. There is a waterfall room, which I call it, which is one of my favorite places to eat. And here is the library, which we might go in later. It's a lot of history in this town, and much of it is in this library. And here is the railroad crossing. Now let's go check out the uh, Cadoras Creek. And here are some pretty interesting murals on the side of the library that depict the railroad and the Glenrock Carolers. Very nicely done. And over here, we have the old firehouse. And there is currently an excursion train called the Northern Central Railroad that comes right through town from the town of New Freedom. And over here is the little whistle stop, ice cream store, and then we will go right over here to the Cadoras Creek, which is a beautiful creek that runs right through town. And here's another one of the light posts highlighting the Glenrock Carolers. And here's a good shot, another good shot of the old firehouse. And here is the beautiful Cordoris Creek that runs right through town. Flowing north, believe it or not, 
towards York, Pennsylvania, and eventually to the Susquehanna River. And there's that PRR railroad track again. A very unique town. Some very unique rock formations. It's very hilly around Glen Rock. And right over here is the local, of course, in every Pennsylvania town, there has to be a pizza sub place. Very good place to eat. Unique little town. Charming. And here are some interesting historical photos in the library of the town. And here is a big, beautiful photo of what this town used to look like back in the 1800s when all the trains were coming through here. And there's the mill inn on the right. Very cool history. Very cool train history. Here's a few more. This is right where we were at that gas station. Again, the center of town, 1800s. Pretty interesting. Very popular biking de destination, Glen Rock. And here we have trains, grains, and more trains. And here we have, once again, the Cadoris Creek running right through town. Just beautiful, quaint little town called Glen Rock in the hills of Pennsylvania, in the rolling hills of Southern York County. More unique Victorian architecture here in Glen Rock. And over that way, you can see Beautiful, large Victorian houses that were owned by the business owners in town. It must have been pretty wealthy because these are some pretty big, gorgeous houses. The architecture is incredible, Victorian style. Right next to this really nice old stone church. Just gorgeous little town. I'm now at the historic Glen Rock Cemetery. And the reason I'm here is I have to point out a certain grave to y'all. It has a very interesting date on it that has to do with me. Very strange, when I used to walk my dog up here to the park, I would walk by this one gravestone, and it kind of freaked me out because it had a very interesting date on it. I'll show you in a minute. Now, the date on this gravestone says, died July 24th, 
1865. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my birthday. Except I was born 98 years later. But it was a baby, seven months old, five days. So, if anybody out there believes in reincarnation, I used to think, am I? And I lived in this town. So I used to think, was that me? And I died? And I reincarnated to live here? Thanks a lot for checking out my videos, and thanks a lot for coming along on this little journey in beautiful Glenrock. Pennsylvania. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. Thanks again for watching my videos. Please subscribe. As we are now heading out of the quaint little hilly quaint and hilly little town. And here's my old house on the left of Glenrock, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm.